Good morning, my name is Marvin Angulo, and this is my vlog on the Creating a Library project, as well as the reflection paper that we have done um, on the library that we have created for, for this class. So, uh, to be 100% honest with you, this was a, a great project because there were things that I've never really noticed about a library until we did the previous discussion board in regards to observing a library of our choice and my partner uh, Marcos uh, pointed out several different things that I didn't notice and one of the ones that stood out to me was the adequate spacing that the library consisted of for students to properly maneuver around the library um, and not just your regular your normal students in a, an everyday classroom but those who are dealing with disabilities it's it's a great thing to add and realize that you know everyone is is included into a library so um, with my creation of the library uh, I wanted to make sure that I had the adequate spacing for each and every one of uh, the students a part of the a school or in the public setting and it, it was it was honestly a tough project to do um, because of the fact that you know we were creating it on a on a poster, a digital poster, and it was hard to add on so many things on there. But the idea was there, and initially, the, the thought, my thought process behind it was, if I were to create a public library, what would I want available for me? Um, and as a student, one thing that I would love uh, for a library to provide would be technology or access to, to internet connections so that way you know we can work on homework or work on assignments that we need to work on so that is one thing that, that I would love to have in the library and then I also had to factor in the fact that in a public setting there are children out there and some of these parents need a place to you know just to relax to work on things if they're a student they got to work on on homework or work on something in general their children's going to need a place for them you know to go and read a couple books or listen to a read aloud and i factored that in because i know there are several there are lots of students that love listening to read alouds especially the younger ages in the in the primary setting or the preschool tkk levels um they love listening to other people read, and I felt like that was an, uh, a very important aspect into adding into a library, uh, regardless of or besides all you know the different sections for for more advanced readers like the nonfiction, the fiction, um, the fantasy type books, the informational text stuff like that. Um, that is what I wanted to create. I wanted to create a, a place of welcoming, uh, an all-inclusive library for anyone and everyone to, to come in and just relax, read a book, or sit in quietness, you know, and I love doing that. Um, you know, right after work usually, which is where I'm at, this is where I'm making this video, I love going to the, uh, my local library at Victor Valley College, and sometimes I just like to go in there and just sit down in quietness and it's that's what I like I like peaceful peace and quiet it gives me a chance to just work on assignments for not only this course my other course um, it gives me the opportunity to just uh, finish up working on grades for for the students that I'm working with here um, at Ranchero it's it's a it's a great place to 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 just go and work on things and just to relax there's nothing wrong with working it, uh, working on stuff at home, but the fact of the matter is, you know, there are things in our lives that, that come up, you know, and as far as living in a house, there's always something to do. There's always something to do. So, um, my my time of peaceful peace and happiness are, is very very valued as far as working in a library. So I wanted to make sure that was all. Um, encapsulated within uh, the creation and within the analysis as well um, and I'm thankful to have this uh, a project like this because of the fact that working with someone you know they're gonna have different viewpoints they're gonna see things differently that you may not be able to see 
but are able to reincorporate or add on to what you have created. And that is what I am thankful for. I'm thankful to even work on something like this because it's something that you don't really think about. You think of a library, you think of books and and quietness. But you never really dwell into the importance of all the lo- other little things. So now that I see <laughs> several different libraries, I'm like, huh, you know, that's... I'm noticing that there's enough space for kids to move in in between each and every one of the sections and it's welcoming, it's quiet. It's it's things like that that you start to realize and you start to appreciate a little bit more, uh, especially for, for many of us who are becoming educators in our field. So that's pretty much pretty much it as far as this goes. Um, uh, Honestly, the, the analysis part of our author was a hu- huge and important piece of this class as well because you think of an author as well, you think of someone who just writes books. Well, what's the reasoning behind their books? Is there a motivation? Is there a reasoning behind it? Um, that is another thing that I've taken into consideration as far as this class goes. and. Um, it keeps me thinking as to what I can add into my classroom in the, th- in, in the future. Um, when I want to create, no, no matter what class I'm teaching, you know, I want to create some sort of space where a student or two can go and just work quietly and focus on, you know, their work. Um, these are things that uh, I am taking note on and, and keeping tabs on because I, I do want to create something of of peace and serenity for, for our students. So that about does it for this vlog. Um, honestly, thank you for, for providing such assignments like that because it, it really does mean a lot and it gives you a whole different perspective on, uh, on the whole school aspect or public library aspect. Um, I am extremely thankful for that. So I hope this video was uh, long enough. Um, sometimes I feel like I over, I over I overshoot as far as information goes, but it is what it is. Um, I tell my students that as well. I tell them that you know sometimes when there's too much information, it can be too much, but it can be helpful in whatever it is you're writing. So um, hope you have a great day um, and have a great winter break.